Really? And we'll we'll literally stand there. And oh yes, you, I remember. See. I played him. Yes. Which is a great thing <laughs> to have that amount of patience and discipline to just stand there with Kirby. Hey, I'm going I'm to take it from you. Ex yeah, especially with Kirby. That's a character that has no projectiles besides his upbeat. Yeah, man. So if how you got that approach? lead, they got to come to you. My Kirby will just chill. <laughs> he don't care. All right. But so he's a great he's a great player when he actually has to fight. He's oh, a great yeah. player. He's competent in that area, too. So it's like he knows how to be aggressive. At the same time, he knows how to chill back and do some yeah, stuff. Yeah, you know, for sure. What? And now, wow, okay, red team and, you know, Nia Niani and Chibo with this Japanese tag mm -hmm. are, you know, Robin, Mario. <coughs> and then we have TM87 is a Lucario. Yes, I remember him from Brawl. And yep. also Mike Kirby is, guess what, Kirby. Mm -hmm. Now, it's interesting to see the Japanese words and stuff. Like, you know, we've all been playing on American <laughs> 3DSs for a while. Yeah, man. But the streaming 3DSs that both myself and Chibo have are Japanese, so you'll see Japanese. Man, you guys and your... Uh your pre-release shenanigans getting these things. Yep. <laughs> Were you able to practice the pre-release version of uh, the game? No. no. I The first time I ever played Smash 4 was at P uh, Pierce's Invitational Tournament. Oh, my goodness. Are you yeah. serious? Mm -hmm. You beat me when you played for the first time? The full game. Yeah. That was the first day I ever played it. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> I played the demos. Okay, you okay, okay. Like I went to Nintendo World and played the demo. That's what But that's I all? didn't have the I didn't own the 3DS at that time or anything. How did you control your mark uh, whatever. Anyways. <laughs> here we go. We are going to watch 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 videos and think about how it would translate. I don't know. Uh, I'll I'll check out the videos. Um I, did we play on stream? I don't re recall. No. Okay, we didn't. Thank goodness. <laughs> all right. Um, and here we are going, and it seems like they might be choosing a counter, not counterfeit stage, but striking. But there's mm -hmm. only Battlefield, Yoshi's Island, and FD, I believe. Yeah, we got that little paper over oh, there. Oh, we do. Here, give me this. <laughs> yep, the starters are Battlefield, Final Destination, and Yoshi's Island. Counterpicks are Prism Tower and all Omega stages. Yep. Yeah, that makes sense. And you would think, like, oh, all the Omega stages, everything's FD. But all, all the Omega stages have different little quirks about them. Some have walls mm -hmm. under the edges, some don't. Some of the blast zones are bigger, some aren't. That is true. And here we are, match number one of the entire tournament. All right. Right now, Mike Kirby and Swagger getting it in right now with, <laughs> with the damage. Doing a great job of just separating and getting the double teams in, but Niani just fighting out. Really yeah, Niani's fast. doing a lot of back airs right now. It's very good for spacing, at least. Oh my gosh, Chivo hits his own partner. Oh my gosh, Niani with the back air barrage it going looks like in. That's her main choice back air and then possibly a cape when you try to recover. Yeah, and that's always been a pretty decent option for Mario, that back air. Mario, uh,. Really lacked in brawl, especially a forward approach. So he had to really rely on that back air, that cross up down air to get damage in. But in Smash 4 now, with all these auto cancel aerials with the system in place, Mario's looking buffed and being a contender for a top character. It looks like. Wow. That was very nice. The down air on the shield to space back F smash. Mike Carey tried to grab and he couldn't. Too much space. Yeah, that's another little thing. Uh, some F smashes in the game actually pull the character's frame backwards, so you can mess up a lot of spacing. Saw an example of it right there. You saw that forward B. I think the you know reach of it reaches out longer the higher your percent is. Mm -hmm. With Lucario, right? Yeah. The force palm and Mike Kirby landing that Kirby F smash, a notorious strong move, uh, especially in brawl. Getting that KO. Ooh, Chibo tried to up smash and get the Lucario into it. It would have worked, but he shielded. Miani's still alive? Oh no, she actually lost her first stop. It's gonna yeah. be a little tough. The Lucario's at 123. Can kill Chibo with many attacks. Yeah, it's really scary fighting Lucario at that high of percent. Yeah. It's it's tough. Oh, oh my nice. gosh. He lived though. Nice DI by Chibo. Oh. oh, good cape. Seeing the Kirby bear coming. That Lucario needs to go. And he's been at 123% for like 30 seconds now, too. Yep. So no damage has been put on him. Oh, my gosh. Back throw. Yeah. Somehow Chibo's still alive. Blue team doing an amazing job of holding the stage. And Mike Kirby playing defensive, as you would suspect. Using up all the jumps he can. 
Yeah, Niani in a bad spot. 130% on her last stop. Yeah, she's having a bit of a trouble to hit her opponent right now. She's trying to space the forward smash. It would kill. However, you got to get it to hit. Yeah, that's the thing. Fishing for kills is definitely not the way to nice. go. But a great read on the roll gets the up smash in. Ooh, and there's an up smash right there. It kills Niani. Chibo has two stocks, and I'm guessing he's going to stick to them. Chibo's pretty good at 2v1s from what I've seen. Yeah, I mean, if I were him, since I'm Rob, I would probably would have let my partner take the stock and then just tried to camp it out with projectiles. Yeah. Since Mario's pretty good at the inside game and fighting, I probably would have just took took the risk, kept it a 2v2, and just camped it out with Rob. But they're choosing to let Chibo He's doing fight good, it to though. the end. Yeah. Like, technically, if he had another partner in there, they could be just wasting the damage of another stock. At least for this scenario, I think this is okay. Because right now, he's already done, like, 20% to each of them. Wow, even more. Yeah, very good by Chibo. Ooh. Oh, wow, that Aura Sphere hit really late. It made no sense. <laughs> right out of the uh, ending frames of the invincibility of the air dodge. Wow, Chibo going for a crazy gimp. Down tilt to dare. <laughs> And out of nowhere, there are two Lucarios on the screen. <laughs> Why does that move look so weird in this game? <laughs> nice Lucario. Going for the back air to take Lucario off the stage. He's going to have to watch out Lucario. Lucario can charge his aura ball every single time now since Kirby can apply pressure and keep Chibo away. <coughs> that might be... Oh, oh man, we God. need... They, they need better team follow-ups than that. All he has to do is jump and shoot an aura sphere above Kirby's body. Oh and my. then he throw would, would just hit him wow. into it. Did you see the gyro just stop the aura sphere? Yeah. <laughs> I forgot. I didn't realize that Kirby can charge the aura sphere too if he takes it from um, Lucario. Nice. Yeah, Swagger should just be shooting an aura sphere. Might be it. Up smash? No. It seems like their team combos are like, you know, failing right now. They could have possibly been killed Chibo if a charge F smash. Mm hmm. Wow, he tried to run it up smash. And Chibo going for Ooh, that kill. Oh my There's gosh. A there, Mike Kirby hanging on though. Chibo is swinging for the fences. The pummel release knocks Mike Kirby out of the way while he was charging. Now Chibo has to watch out. He keeps neutralizing in between both players mm -hmm. to hit both of them. However, he's going to, if they block it, it's over. That's yeah. automatic team combo setup. Yeah, and as we saw right there, uh, it got shield grabbed, and boom, Lucario F smash, game over. Game one is going to Mike Kirby and TM87, a.k.a. Swagger. <laughs> Swagger, I like that. SSTM87, too. So I think that maybe they just got a bit unlucky. Niani took a lot of damage really early and died a lot sooner than expected. Mm -hmm. If she's able to hold her ground, I think they can definitely beat this team. Yeah, and when it comes to Kirby, Lucario, both of these characters are a little stubborn to kill. Yes. And they can, uh, you know, Lucario can make it back from deep when he has high aura with that up B. And Mike Kirby can just take his time and float out there with Kirby <laughs> and, and make life very frustrating. Also, when Mike Kirby jumps out there and is using all of his jumps, it gives his partner a chance to come and stop the edge guard attempt. That is very so, true. You know, good teamwork there. Niani going going to go zero suit now. Mm, interesting. I don't think I've actually seen her zero suit before. Actually, yes, I have. I've seen it on casual streams, but I've never seen her use it in tournament. Mm -hmm. Niani plays zero suit in uh, Project M, another Smash game she plays. It does okay with her there. So. Oh, that that might have been where I've seen her zero suit. If it wasn't this game, it had to have been Project M. And the characters, they're not too much different. Like, Luichigo was able to pick up a Zero Suit for, uh, for this game pretty yep. easily. And he played Zero Suit for Project M, of course. All right, well, here we go. This is match number two on Mario. I forgot the name of this. Paper Mario? Pa Paper Mario, I think. Yep, Paper Mario Omega. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Swagger getting smacked by that up smash. Oh, put into the ground, but she will not able to follow up. Nice. Up air. Ooh, Niani. Oh, my oh, goodness. And wow. a murderous combo there by Niani. Just coming back with the flurry after that first game early stock loss. Oh, my. She did everything she needed to do. Like, she's already doing better this one match than the first match. Zero Suit may have been a good choice. 
Yeah, it's looking like it so far. And I don't know if you know this, look what Mike Kirby is doing. He's crouching under the Paralyzer, under the Zero Suit's F Smash. <laughs> oh, with yeah. Kirby, not even having to use his shield. Very, very smart of him to do. Wow, nice. <laughs> It was a nice dash attack, however, if you miss the second opponent, you'll get punished quite easily. Wow. She was having a bit of trouble staying on the stage. Yeah, and this is a great, great um, strategy here by the blue team. Finally, Mike Kirby got hit, but holding the gyro, covering the jump option, Mike Kirby covering the ledge option, and then the roll through option being covered by TM87. That setup was amazing. Oh my gosh, Chibo kills Niani. It's okay though, because they're already doing pretty well. But Mike Kirby's only at 65%. They're going to need to add some more damage. Just like you said, he plays defensive, so it's hard to get damage on him. Yeah, and Mike Kirby, like I said, 65%. It's basically nothing. That's a nice aura sphere they're getting good damage in oh <laughs> did you see that yeah she just blocked and he shot the laser right through and hit both of them very nice oh my what wow the down b kick right in the back of his head oh. nothing doing will he hang on yes he will zero suit samus does not like lucario because she is destroying him today oh my wow gosh. another down b flip kick Yep, and there's a share stock. Now Mike Kirby at the high in percent. Chivo now tanking that stock. Still right. hasn't passed on his first stock. Niani land getting hit by that F smash, excuse me, but hanging on. Mike Kirby's doing a fantastic job punishing Niani now. However, she's realizing she can grab him whenever he's ducking. Ooh, and you got to watch out. If you grab your opponent and their friend is right behind them, they can punish you. Man, Mike Kirby getting a lot of mileage out of that gyro. Miani finally gets back on. Oh, wow. Chivo has two stocks. Yeah, Chivo still has not uh, lost his first stock. There's an up air there. And, wow, TM87 losing both of his stocks as Chivo lost his first. It's not a good job of withholding and being... Uh, you know, two healthy in teams. Oh my goodness, wow. Chivo with the chase off. The <laughs> what? He went way up there. That was fast, too. Yeah, Chivo was like, I don't care, man. <laughs> I'm just flying to the sky. It almost looks like the motor on Chivo's, uh, not Chivo, but Rob's, you know, under him is more powerful or faster than the old game. Because he went flying up there. Unless maybe he jumped and then up B, that could have been the reason why. Well, fantastic job by them. It's currently 1-1. And this is winner's round one. Do not want to lose at this tournament in the ra first round. Yeah, we do uh, follow a loser's bracket in competitive Smash. So you do have two opportunities uh, to lose. <laughs> <laughs> Opportunity to lose. But you do have two chances in a tournament setting, whether it's teams, whether it's singles. Mm -hmm. We have our uh, the winner's bracket. And then if you lose, you go into the loser's bracket. Oh my if you goodness. lose there... Have a nice, have a nice day. <laughs> I, did you see how many customs he has to choose from? Yeah, Chibo. Right when he got this game, my man made an encyclopedia of custom setups for Rob. There's a billion of them. Interesting. You don't even know what custom he's gonna use. It's kind of <laughs> like I'm guessing he changed customs if he, you know, did that. So I want to see what happens. Maybe he has like the fire gyro. Yeah, Chibo does use the fire gyro sometimes. All right, here's match number three. Not using it this time though. Oh, she's going for the grab a lot, but Mike Kirby's starting to see it, so he's staying right outside the range of the grab. And I think that even though Chibo's doing good against the Lucario, it looks like Niani's having a lot of trouble against Kirby. So maybe they should switch up. Yeah, but uh, so far, uh, a little Kirby um, got a nice little two-hit combo there on Chibo. So, you know, it's kind of pick your poison at this point when it comes to... Oh my wow. goodness, Niani with the combo again! He was barely at any percent. Yeah, that's that's really rough for the blue team. Wow, and holding that <laughs> hammer until the throw was done. Mike Kirby is so good at uh, like stock tanking right now. Yes, he is. Very good at just uh, you know getting his hits in and then staying at a distance where he's not in any trouble. One thing I'm noticing about this Lucario, he's getting hit by a lot of Niani's up airs because he's not deciding to either air dodge or jump. Yeah. He's just trying to p attack her. But the range of her up air is going to beat Lucario's down air. Oh my gosh. Wow, that gyro just put in 
so much work against red team. Really unfortunate. All right, looks like the entire blue team's on the ledge. Nice charge aura ball. Wow, that did 26% to Niani. Are now she's at 42 from a back hits? throw. Wow, that is crazy. And he's only at 87%. He's doing that much damage. Wow, and Mike Kirby uh -oh. getting the KO. And Niani falls off. Oh, unfortunate SD right there. Wow, Mike Kirby spitting his partner out. When you get spit out as Kirby or DDD, when you're in that star form, you actually are a hitbox. Now this is going to be tough because once again, the focus was not put on Mike Kirby. So he's able to gain so much, like, you know, pretty much take no damage. Wow, you saw that little Trixie uh, Mike Kirby did? He turned into a rock on the slope uh -huh. and fell off of the edge. And then <laughs> took it off, so basically he can't get hurt. You'd have to be off stage to hit him. Well, maybe Chibo can work a miracle. Oh, never mind. Oh, and that is it. Lucario is just way too strong. <clears throat> And CT, Chivo, and Niani falling round one to Mike Kirby and Swagger. I must admit that this was a hard first round match. This yeah. is not something, oh, let me just win and beat these players. Like, the, Mike Kirby's good. And you have a Lucario. So regardless of how good he is, he's going to be good. He's going to be great. So good stuff to TM87. Swagger. Yep. Give me and one second. No problem. But yeah, good stuff to TM87 and Mike.